We are opting to go, and it was my mistake, but we opted to go for two pumps on this instead of trying to split everything off of one. So we're just gonna do a little bit of double work here, which is my bad. That's the reason why we're seaming liner. We won't tell you this because we didn't get the right liner pulled in our warehouse. Happy Monday, everybody. We're back out here. It's a little brisk this morning. We are gonna hopefully try to get a lot of our detail work done today, or uh, actually, we're probably gonna get a lot of work done today, not just the detail work. Let me spin you guys around and show you. So right now, as you guys can tell, Wednesday when I left, we showed you guys that we got the bowls kind of roughed in in an area where we kind of wanted them. Today, we're gonna actually be trenching in our two inch line and bowl cutting our liner into the three inch line, kind of getting our plumbing work done. So it's gonna take a little bit of time, just kind of laying everything out, running all our chase lines to all our bowls and getting all that plumbed up and then also we're going to be down here getting probably the plumbing done in the vault that way we can for sure get the plumbing done and out of the way today that way it's checked off our checklist and then we can continue to cruise on so we're probably going to get somewhere where the machine's at today i would assume we might get to that seam maybe but depending on how else things go today so just wanted to give you guys a quick rundown we're letting the machines warm up and everything got the cameras all set up for you guys so let's go everyone we are back i haven't really filmed much today but because we've had a lot of busy work going on we plumbed all three of our bowls got that all set up i'll show you that here in a second but in the meantime we are going to start seaming the last section of liner that will take us all the way back to the bio falls normally we'd like to do this all in one piece but because of digging conditions and these uh, actually more logistics than anything so we have not only one seam back over there but we're going to run another one right in through here and that'll take us all the way back to the bio falls so this should be the last one but this prevented us from flopping you know 60 70 feet of liner back and forth back and forth every single time we needed to dig because we can only dig about six seven eight feet at a time because of the size of these rocks and the reach of the machine so that's the reason why we're seaming liner we won't tell you this because we didn't get the right liner pulled in our warehouse that top liner 20 by 25 should take us all the way to the face of that bio falls JD and Juan over here, Chris and myself, and then Jack is on his way. Current conditions are about 14 degrees, but it is sunny out, and we are gonna keep plugging away on this project and see how much we can get done. We have a bigger machine getting delivered today to help us with some of those massive boulders and with the reach setting a lot of this stuff along this back little retaining wall here. So we definitely have our work cut out for us today. We moved our other machine over to the back side so that we can finish up the pump vault reservoir area. You see JD and Juan kind of clearing out a trench that's gonna be for a two inch line. We are opting to go, and it was my mistake, but we opted to go for two pumps on this instead of trying to split everything off of one. So we're just uncovering some of this plumbing and we're gonna do a little bit of double work here, which is my bad, but we're gonna run one two inch line to that bulkhead fitting back down there. We'll cut out that T and then just splice that piece of pipe back together and that will feed our main waterfalls there. So we're gonna work on that this morning until Jack gets here and then we will start digging and we will split up into two teams and try and make more progress as we're running through here and as the day warms up, it's so it's kind of the word for the day. Warm up. 
So you got the jacks over here, Chris, rocking in the reservoir area. You can see Jack had everything dug out today. And then Juan and I are over here messing around with some of the big rocks. Not to make those small, but we are going to start setting a lot of these retaining stones in. So what we have to deal with is this pool back over here that we don't want to disrupt. We've got some large boulders. That's a, about a ton and a half boulder right there. It's about 3,500 pounds. And that thing's going to come and sit almost like this. We want to be able to get it up high so that we can bring dirt as horizontal with the top of that biofall as we can so that this thing doesn't feel volcanic. So Juan's going to drive over this way and we're going to squeeze this rock in back behind here. And then we will go back that way with another boulder. Curl those teeth up, Juan. There you go. Keep coming. Good. Hold it right there. it is the d-day out here the final day of this project hopefully hopefully the final day of this project we have just the main waterfalls to finish up and then this basin area and then edges and then clean up clean up clean up so we've got much nicer i guess more tolerable temperatures today than we had yesterday where it was about 15 degrees today it's going to be 50 a balmy 50 so i'm going to be shedding these bibs pretty quick we got jd over here just kind of trimming up some fabric this is turning out fantastic jack and jack worked on this yesterday Yesterday, just getting this kind of buttoned up we still have a lot of detail and finish work to do but this will all come together very very quickly and then this part of the stream is virtually done we were waiting to finish this area because we have a ball valve right there that we're gonna need to adjust in that valve box as well to go to the three bowls we ended up with a four to seven thousand gallon per hour pump feeding these bowls we've got to get some lights in and then we have a five to nine running to that main waterfall so I think based on some of the extra rock that we brought we're gonna do just a veil style waterfalls into another one and we'll just simply change direction and keep it down to two drops make it nice and easy but high impact so a lot of work cut out for us today but we are going to plow on through and make great great progress today Jack and I are kind of in this basin area, kind of buttoning up all the stuff in the basin. And one of the things is plumbing. So in order to do that, as you guys saw when we were at Skinner, our aqua blue job, I'm going to drop our pumps down to the bottom, hook up our standpipe, measure it, get our 90s in, kind of rough everything in, and then I'll pull everything out, glue it, and get all that stuff good to go and set so in that way we can finish rocking and rolling on this basin. Because I don't want to come back and finish this entire pooling area and then have to go back and do this plumbing. So I want to get this done now and that way it's out of the way. So the things that I have in here is I have a four to seven and a five to nine SLD pump, two unions, two nineties and two MPTs. And so the MPTs screw into the two inch collar on the pumps. And that accepts our two inch standpipe coming up from the bottom of the basin up into our two inch flex lines that are feeding right here. So as you can tell, these are two, two inch lines, but this one actually jumps up to a three inch line. So right here, you guys can see that coupling or that reducer that goes down from a two inch up to a three inch line. And then this one is just a two inch line feeding our bowls. So we just want to make sure everything's all nice and marked. That way we know that we're feeding the right pump to the right area and we're not having too much water flow to the to the wrong area
You guessed it, we wrapped this sucker up. Just came back out today to button up some lighting and, and touch up a couple edges, but we are done and this project turned out absolutely incredible. I love the meandering stream, the interactivity of it, those large slabs of stone. I love the spillway bowls and how they seamlessly incorporated and added such an awesome dynamic to this already incredible design. And they really, really pulled off nicely into this water feature. The Moss Rock Granite Combo is always a favorite of ours here at Team Aquascape. I think the selection of stone that Brian tagged along with the design that he came up with turned out incredible. And I think the gang and I definitely pulled through and turned this thing into a masterpiece. Let us know what you guys think in the comments section below. If you have any questions on how this project was put together, also let us know because we love to educate people on how these things are put together, how to maintain them, and how to make them living, breathing works of art, just like what we created back here. Thanks again for watching. We'll talk to you guys later. Till next time, from Team Aquascape, peace. It's all about the finishing touches, AZ. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Just cleaning off the last few rocks so we can get some nice B-roll and beauty shots for you. It's all about that 10%, everybody, and he does it better than just about anybody. Yeah.